This clip is on the classification and features of hominins. Hopefully you're familiar with the five classes of vertebrate animals, the fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. There are about 80,000 species of vertebrate animals alive on Earth today and about 5,500 of these are mammals. Mammals can be divided up into about 20 or so orders. One of these is the primates, and there are about 250 to 300, depending on your classification system, species of primates. So these diverged from other mammals about 60 million years ago. And nowadays we have the prosimians, like the lemurs from Madagascar. We have the New World monkeys, with their prehensile tails. This means grasping tails from South America. The old world monkeys, like this mandrill from Asia and Africa, and the apes. There are the lesser apes, like this gibbon, and the great apes which include this group here. So great apes split off about 20 million years ago, and we're going to look at them next. This group is now classified as the hominids. So it is the great apes, gorillas, chimpanzees, and orangutans, our extinct ancestors, and us. Chimpanzees, gorillas, etc., orangutans, our ancestors, and us. All right, about uh, five to seven million years ago, this line diverged again, and a tribe called the hominins developed. And these just include our ancestors. That is Ardipithecus, Australopithecus, Paranthropus, and Homo species, and us, the Homo sapiens, of which there is only one species alive on Earth today. About 160 million years ago, in the times of the dinosaurs, the first shrew like mammal called the Therapsid evolved. This was nocturnal, most likely to avoid predation by the dinosaurs and an omnivore. When the dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago, this mammal was able to take over the ecological niche that the dinosaurs had left behind by adaptive radiation. So if hominins are primates and primates are mammals, then we must have a number of features in common. What are these? First of all, we are all endothermic. This means we're warm-blooded, and we can control our body temperatures. We have a four-chambered heart. Now birds have these two features as well, but unlike birds, we have a diaphragm, which separates our thorax, or chest region, from our abdomen. We're covered in thick hair, or fur, and we have sweat glands in our skin that enable us to regulate body temperature. We have three bones in our middle ear to enable us to be able to hear. And our babies are born alive. Mothers feed their babies milk. Baby teeth, of which there are three distinct types, incisors, canines and molars, are all set into a single jawbone in the lower jaw. So primates are all mammals, and we can identify primates by a number of characteristics which they trend towards. First of all, most are quadrupedal. This means they're able to walk around on four legs. 
They are arboreal. Arboreal means they live in the trees. In order to succeed in the trees, they must have certain adaptations. For example, their eyes. They have binocular vision from their forward facing eyes. And we can see that here in the chimpanzee, forward facing eyes. This gives them quite a flattened face or f reduced pronathism. In order to move through the trees, they need to be able to brachiate. Brachiate means swing through the trees. And in order to brachiate, they need to have long fingers with pads on the end of them to be able to feel things, nails instead of claws, an opposable thumb, and this allows them to grasp onto the next tree branch, and a rotating forearm. You can see I'm using my rotating forearm here. As well as that, they need to have a, um, a brachiating shoulder. So their shoulder joint has become very mobile. In the trees, the primates need to find food, and they do that by using their colour vision, which distinguishes red from green easily. Primates are also social animals. They are case strategists, and they have a large brain. So how would we identify a hominin? Hominins are mammals and primates, but unlike other primates, they are bipedal, which means instead of getting around on four limbs, they just use their two legs. They have very large brains, The thinky thinky part of the brain is called the cerebrum. They are very social and they've developed language. Also, they have developed tools. We can see that in my pen here and in the tools that my two uh, little models are holding.